Hi guys, I am Fauzan. I recently completed my data analytics certificate course with IB Professional School and then I joined their visualization internship program with them. Today I will be presenting and discussing the challenges and insights I gained from this final project during this internship program. Uh, let's go to the data set. So this is the data set. Uh, we were tasked to create a dashboard with three pages. Uh, the first page should be the executive view, and the remaining pages can be as our it should, can be our preference. So here's the data. So this is the book table where the details of books given. And if you go to the info table, this is the info table, and you can see the number of rows are. 59 including the header and in the book table also the row count is same so then I check if it is the same details given in both tables then it seems to be uh, then it was true yeah, it is the same 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 IDs so in the info table uh, the details of the books only given so I thought to join this to an inner join of these two tables and let's go to the author table this is the author table where the author details are given and let's go to the checkout and here the number of checkouts and the book details are given I assume this is, the, this is from like the library details who, who are checking out monthly should be the library details let's go to the edition yes the edition details are even given the SBN number, book ID, format, public ID, the publication date, pages and price details. Let's go to the publisher table. Here's the publisher details. The ratings series is given. And these are the sales data. So sales data was split into four tabs by the uh, like by the quarters. Let's go to the Power BI. First let's go to our data model. The first challenge for me was to understand the data set and the modeling part which took me a, a bit of time because it was confusing at first for me However, after spending some time on it I was able to build the data model so this is the data model you can see this is not the usual user-friendly start schema and it followed to be a snowflake schema let's go to the executive view and here uh, my challenge was to build the sales amount because the in the sales table they didn't include the quantity or the price information so it was little confusing for me let's go to the sales table sales 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 i did a union uh, because the sales data was in four tables so i did a union and combined all the all the four tables and this is the table so you can see so there was no quantity so it was continuous then I realized that each row represent a single book and then the price price was in the addition table so here's the price then I use the sumx function with the related function to get the sales amount I'll show you the measure which I use so here's the measure uh, I took the price and then multiplied by 1 minus uh, because there was discount given for some book so to get get it after the discount amount so I did uh, 1 minus the discount amount okay so here you can see the KPH cards are given sales copies sold number of checkout and this is the and this shows the like versus the last uh, quarters because we have selected the quarter for so it is showing relatively to the previous quarter how, how are we performing like it is like 41 percent less less than the last quarter. quarter quarter three so here we are doing great but yeah and here I'm using the top function to get the top five books and the top five authors and here we have selected the checkouts if you select the sales it will show by the sales amount who uh, which book is doing great in this quarter if we go to the quarter for it should change 
And if you check the author, here, here, here comes the author details who's doing great in this quarter by sales. If you change it to copies, by the copies sold, Bianca doing great. If you go by the rating, and again, Bianca comes uh, tops the chart. It's got the checkout, and again, the, it's showing by the number of checkout. This is the number of checkouts. I'm sorry, I forgot to explain about this left panel. Here it shows the page name and the date range, and these are the navigators. We can move through the pages. And this is, these are the filters by the publisher, by the author, and by the quarter. If we click on this icon, we it will clear all the filters applied. Okay, now let's move to the sales analysis, the, to the sales page. And here we can easily track our all time sales, monthly sales and the monthly, uh, sorry, weekly sale. And, and this is a bookmark navigator where we can easily navigate through different charts by, for instance, if I click on this months, just the monthly sales trend. And if I click on the book, it shows the monthly best selling book and the sales amount for particular book, uh, the contribution of that book for the sales for the total sales if you go to the publisher and here it shows the monthly sales trend by the publishers and the ROI by the publishing house and this is this is the product list by the product list of the bookshop where we can check all the books and the uh, details related to that books by the rating reviews and the copies the price the discounts given here okay then let's move to the last page the reviews analysis uh, this page or oh, the V was not included in the question set but when I saw the data set of the ratings data I thought of doing something like this because I had previously worked on a similar data set as part of a challenge presented by Gusto. I believe everybody knows uh, very well in the data field. So I decided to implement the same approach with this data set. So these charts provide us the breakdown by the ratings by various critics and this is the grand total percentage by the total. And this shows the uh, this displays the author and the book details based on the number of reviews and the average rating and lastly we can this is the scatter plot we can observe how the sales copies and the checkouts varies based on the average rating so here we can select the axis the metric checkout or copy sold and we can if you don't want the cluster we can select none and here the copies sold by the copies sold where well, I chose the size of the if you select none it will it will just be same for the all, all the books now let's talk a little bit about the design part I always take inspiration from the internet for design layouts yeah in this project I found inspiration on the triple website which guided me into this particular layout I always try to maintain the simplicity and the consistency in the design across all the pages. Uh, in conclusion, I thoroughly enjoy working on this project and it was a valuable learning experience for me. Especially with this unique data set, I extend my gratitude to IV and Ishanimem for organizing this internship program. I hope you guys found some insight in this presentation. Thank you so much. Yes.